go to step forms click over creative form give any name to your form and now come to elements where you will find the layouts by which you can start creating a form just drop the required uh, layouts which you want for your form image and this text so i'm gonna add this text here add some text content in that So suppose I have added personal information. Here you can manage your HubSpot, uh, sorry, form maker, form steps. You can edit their labels, which will be show over your uh, live form. You can add one more step. You can also edit the label of the step. You can delete the steps also, and you can drag and drop up and down. Over which step you will click, you will get that tab activated. After that, click up HubSpot fields. These all fields are fetched from HubSpot, uh, which you have created in your HubSpot account. I'm using uh, search to searching my HubSpot fields, and just you need to grab that fields into over your layout. I have added last name, first name, and one last I will add email ID. After that, I will go to the next step. You can also go, to, go from there. Now I am gonna add a single layout here, and after that. I will again go to HubSpot fields and I have already created a radio select for the demo purpose. This is a radio select field. So now see the magic. This is the advanced option. Change the select input type to image select. Now you have radio select with image image uh, select option I have already uploaded two images there for demo purposes so just say, say uh, click over that image and choose and save you can also edit the label if you want but now right now I'm not uh, editing the labels I'm just changing the images here I'm also going to make this field required. Same I will do with the other fields. A first name, last name and email. Every field type have different select input type for example this text box have multiple input types which you can convert the browse file uh, ratings that we will explore later now the basic form setup is done I'm, I'm going to end screen in end screen you can see that we can modify the end screen content we can add a redacting we can allow user to reset or not as per the requirement
now let's jump over to theme settings here you will find that you can customize each and everything in a form you can add a background image i've already added some images in gallery section so you can choose from there and you can you can upload your own this is another form in which i'm using material ui so you have three input options outline field and standard and background color options form input color options means you have full power to customize this form as per your brand needs after theme setting now explore logics in logics you can add logic to show and hide fields but this is advanced form so you can show and hide steps also we have two condition or and and you can combine multiple conditions i'm checking uh, with one only first name i suppose i uh, selected first name and uh, equal to i'm giving my name current then you can show multiple inputs but i'm uh, doing with the slide show slide and show slide 2 now slide 2 is dependent on the first input value if i will go to preview to see this thing in action uh, see here if i will add current here so step two pop up right now i'm not adding logic in my form so removing it go to preview It is default now. We have three different options in the form with sidebar steps, without steps, with header steps. The step setting will be customized from there. You can make changes there and back to the form edit page to save the changes. If I will click over next, you can see the how required fields work. You need to fill this uh, fields to go to next step.
here you can see the how did this select look like when you convert this into image select when you submit this is your set form this is live preview of a form now let's explore last feature which is calculator here the radius lets drop uh, drop down check boxes you can map with a value plus and minus as per you want suppose i have added uh, adding 100 points on choosing male and adding 15 points on choosing female result page settings also there you want to show the result on end screen just check this box also if you want to show different results for different R scores suppose I want to show like uh, 0 to 50 I want to show something else for females and uh, 15 to 100 I want to show something else so you can do it from there you just need to uh, add a minimum value and maximum value in your result variant so I am adding some random text so I can identify that uh, test result sorry form result Let's see this into action. I choose male. Here you can see that we have seen the result for male. Now just do this thing with female also. Done. now let's save this form once you save uh, you can click on embed form just see that here you will get the required code that how you can add this form into your hubspot account now let's see this in action so go to your hubspot account in your design manager little uh, coding not coding knowledge you just need to create a custom module click on new file modules uh, give any name to your module copy this code from here and paste it here done your custom model part is done now we just need to add this form into a website page no more settings required go to website page Choose a template. Click on HubSpot form. Now it is running on your website. See the magic? Just publish your page.
see the form is working now let's test this form I refresh the page and my name still remains there with the feature of this form means your value doesn't get get off from your form even you submit or not click over next select mail Tada! your calculation is also working if you refresh this page you will remain here now if you go to form submission you will see that uh, one form is submitted and one contact is created in the HubSpot CRM with contact ID 301 If you want more information about this form or more, want to explore more feature, you can go to the documentation page from the icon below in your form maker website. You can explore the other options here that how your form works, I mean, what are the different types in your forms. If I go to step form. I can edit this form also uh, see these options the browse file option means you can restrict the formats also which you don't want user to upload I will add more options in future in this form see the review The country select slider multi select. See the multi select. If I will add option, you need to option into this. You can edit the label of that option. Just see how it looks. Also, you may select is also available in text. See here. You can also watch our Oxford form demos. By will you will get better understanding that what you can achieve from this form that's it for now you can start exploring this form if you have any doubts and you have stuck somewhere just contact me on info at ecoweb.ca and i would love to help you to exploring this form i'm also adding my LinkedIn id below the video so you can reach out to me anytime